Hey y'all, today we're going to talk about the best Christmas gifts for your grill master and all these are under $50. Hi y'all, Don here with Southern Backyard Cooking. Today we're going to talk about different utensils that I use. These are great Christmas gifts. All of these are going to be under $50. With the supply chain problems that are going on in the country right now, I would get these early. I don't want to wait till Christmas or, or the week before Christmas because you may not get anything at that point in time. I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure you give me that thumbs up. Subscribe and ring that bell. That will allow you to get notifications of all my upcoming videos exactly when they come out so you can be the first ones to watch them. One of the items that right now there's the largest shortage of more than any other thing as far as cooking and stuff is nitrile gloves. These gloves uh, come in a box of a hundred. You know, they used to be a year ago, you could get these for seven or eight dollars. Now they're up where 15 could be 25 by the end of uh, Christmas and stuff. But these are great to put on. Uh, uh, prevents cross-contamination so if I'm cooking different meats I would want to change my gloves but the biggest thing is I use them more than anything is to keep my hands clean when I'm using all kinds of different sauces as well as uh, rubs and stuff when I pick them up with these on it doesn't transfer over to my hands and speaking of gloves they are one of the things that we use to prevent our hands from getting burned. So you can use a cheap pair of cotton gloves. Uh, you can usually get these for a dollar. Uh, anything to help out. My favorite is these Eco Grip gloves. They've got grips all over them. I can put them on. These will take up to 500 degrees so I can actually pick up items without any problem. Putting them on is real easy. Uh, you get them both on. Uh, when I do pulled pork, uh, a lot of people like to use the claws. Claws is another real nice thing. You can get a set of these for about $15. These Eco Gloves run you about $25, $30. But the nice thing about it is it's real easy to pick up anything I want. Whether it's a meat, a turkey, a ham, uh, a pulled pork. When I do my pulled pork, I like to use these. I can get right into it and break it all up. Makes it very easy to do. All right, the next category I'm going to talk about is my utensils that I use. One, you have to have a scraper. Uh, this one is brushless, so it doesn't have all the bristles. The reason I say that is the bristles, they tend to have a, have a tendency to fall off and can stick to your your grates and stuff and transfer to meats and then could be a choking hazard. This one is just uh, little circles, round, three levels of it. What I like to do on this is my grill or my egg is still hot when I want to clean it. I dip it in water and then scrape it. This water, it holds the water in these little areas and that creates steam which helps it clean even better. A good spatula. There's all kinds of spatulas. Long ones. This I prefer this. It's a little two and a half inch, three inch wide, six inch long wooden handle spatula. I've probably had this one now nine or ten years, but I love it. It's not. It doesn't have a beveled end. It's a blunt end, but it just allows me to pick up everything and anything I want, and it's so handy and flexible. You got to have a basting brush. Uh, the basting brushes, these are have rubber tines, so it's not like a real brush. But these rubber tines, they will hold a lot of barbecue sauce or whatever other kind of sauce you want to brush on. And I can dip it real easy and do this. These relatively about $10. A good set of tongs. Uh, I buy the set of tongs. I get an a 8-inch and a 12-inch and get them as a set. These run oh, somewhere $15, $20 at the most. You know, a lot of times you can find them cheaper. I like the stainless steel. Some, sometimes I get them with the stainless steel with handles. These I go through 
more so than most of my other equipment. Uh, I'll run through a set of these in two or three years. Uh, the springs in, in here just end up breaking after a while, especially a lot of use. All right, the last category I'm going to talk about is thermometers. You have to have some thermometers. This is a relatively inexpensive. You can get, I usually buy these in a packet of two and I get them for about $20. But they're uh, instant read. Once I open it up, the battery actually is off during that period of time and it comes on. And I can have it at any angle. I push it into the meat just enough to get the tip in there and it'll within a second give me the temperature, the internal temperature. When I cook, most things I cook, I cook by internal temperature. So this is real nice for, for cooking and checking hamburgers and some other things. When I'm cooking larger meats, like a turkey, a pulled pork, a brisket, something, I'm going to use my wireless thermometers. Okay, This wireless set I really like. Uh, the main reason it has one probe that'll check, tell me the temperature of my griddle. Then it has two temperatures that I can actually insert into two different pieces of meat. So when I'm cooking multiples, if I'm cooking them on my smoker, of course one's going to be on one side and one's going to be on the other side. This side of my smoker, the left side of my smoker is hotter because that's where the burn chamber is than the right side. So I know whatever is going to be on that side is going to cook a little faster. By having two thermometers, one in each piece of meat, I can adjust and regulate that somewhat and know when to pull that piece of meat out so it's done perfectly and not pull the other one out until it's done perfectly. That's why I like this. Everything connects into this piece right here which sits out here and it, I can sit it and it'll stand right up which makes it real good. This piece is the wireless part of it. I can take this inside with me. Uh, it has an alarm on it. I can set my temperatures for my different meats. And as soon as it hits that temperature, it sounds an alarm. It tells me it's time to go pull the whatever that is. It'll show my internal temperature of the grill or smoker, as well as it'll show both my thermometer readings from the meats. And again, I can tell it what type of meat and what type of internal temperature I want it to achieve. The range on this is about 165 feet. So wherever I am in the house, it reaches there fine. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed everything that we did. We covered everything. Again, the most expensive item that we have out here is about $35. So I'm well under that $50 range. You could actually get your grill master a couple of these items and still not an expensive gift. If you did like my video, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know, give me a comment, tell me what you liked about everything. If there's one of the items that you didn't like, let me know. That way I can find possibly something that would be better. These are the ones that I prefer. That doesn't mean you're going to prefer them. And until next time, guys, y'all have a great day.